It's not bad enough that I won't drink it. I'll drink it. That was my attempt at a wink. I can only wink on this side. I can't wink on that side. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Vivian, the Psalm Next Door. Today we're gonna to be reviewing Costco wines and figuring out which wines are the best for Thanksgiving. I got four different types of wines today, two white and two red, and we're gonna see which ones are the best. In general, for Thanksgiving, you want to have wines that can pair with a lot of different flavors. There's mac and cheese, there's green bean casserole, there's candied yams, turkey, maybe you're doing a ham. Like there's a lot of elements going on. Now all of the wines that I got were less than $20. You know, usually you host a lot of people for Thanksgiving. So finding those budget friendly wines where you can stock up is the way to go. My first wine that I got is a Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer means spicy or perfumed Traminer. If you can see by the color, it's very pale. Gewürztraminer is usually found in Alsace, France, and in Germany. But this one actually isn't from France or Germany. This is actually from Oregon. Gewürztraminer is, like I said, I mean, it's in the name. It's a little spicy, but it's also a very aromatic grape. It gives off honeysuckle, very like floral smell. When you taste it, you get like a zip of acidity, but then towards the end, you kind of get a little bit of that bitterness. It's not sweet, it's dry, but it has that gingery taste to it, which I think would go really well with the sweeter root vegetables like yams, sweet potatoes. It also would go really well with like the turkey and also like if you were eating mac and cheese, it's a palate cleanser. Riesling is one of the most versatile wines out there in terms of food pairings because it is acidic and sweet. And I think that's why it's a no brainer to pick for Thanksgiving when you have so many different types of foods. The funny story is, so I was looking at actually German Rieslings at Costco. And then this gentleman, he, he was a British person because he commented on my Burberry boots and he's like, oh, you're wearing fellow uh, English boots. He's like, you know, I usually think labels like this is rubbish, but then, you know, one of our friends had it and it's actually very nice. And I was like, okay, all right, I'll take your recommendation. One like very distinct smell of Riesling is petrol. And this has a lot of petrol to it. It also is floral, but in a very different way than the Gewürztraminer. It has a more melon notes, tropical fruit notes. Very easy to drink. And I think it would go really well with your Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, Beaujolais. Beaujolais, Beaujolais, Beaujolais. Truth is, you guys, it's really not my favorite grape. It is the quintessential Thanksgiving wine. This was $9.99, guys, less than $10. 2020, not that surprising. It's supposed to be drunk pretty young, so it doesn't use any oak, so it doesn't have any of those warming baking spices in it. Tasting notes that are common with Beaujolais are bubble gum, candy, maybe some red or blackberry jam. So it is a very low tannin wine, medium to low body, which is what you want for your Thanksgiving reds. You want something light, especially because your meal is gonna be heavy. You don't want your wine to be heavy either. So this is why Beaujolais is a very popular drink for Thanksgiving. It has a good amount of acidity, low tannins. It goes down so easy. What's the alcohol percentage on this? 13.5%. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, you'll still get drunk. A red wine will go with turkey because why? It's not gonna overpower the turkey. You'd be so surprised 
at how light this is, how light and fruity this wine is. It's gonna go well. Like think about cranberry sauce. This is kind of like the cranberry sauce. If you want to do a step up from Beaujolais Villages, which is what I have and go for a Beaujolais Cru, I highly recommend the Beaujolais Cru's from Morgan and Fleury. Bruy is pretty good as well. The fourth wine that I have is a Pinot Noir. This is from Russian River Valley, that is the AVA. One key difference between Burgundy Pinot Noirs and California, specifically like Sonoma Pinot Noirs, is that they'll use more new French oak. So when I was looking at the notes of this, it has 30% new oak in here. Mushroom, earthiness, dark cherry flavors, baking spices as well very smooth tannins it's like a very velvety texture it's medium body for sure not there's some pinot noirs that are like that in california that are approaching like medium plus body but this is for sure a medium body which is why i think it would go really well for thanksgiving nothing too crazy a great balance of acid and tannins but the tannins are soft but still give it some structure no, I think for $15, this is a really like tasty wine. Overall, I think these wines from Costco are very tasty. They will pair well with your foods and you, especially if you're hosting a lot of people, you can have a variety of wines. And honestly, every single one of these wines, these four different types of wines, the Gewurz, the Riesling, the Beaujolais, and the Pinot Noir, I have a wide variety. So if you have like a lot of people with a different taste profiles, I think these four would do wonderfully to suit different people's taste. Honestly, I think this is a really great four options. Under $20, actually under $15. All these ones were under $15. I keep on saying 20, but even better, you guys. Well, those are the four wines that I got at Costco. I hope you guys found some inspiration of which wines would be the best at your Thanksgiving table, please hit that like button, that thumbs up button, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Cheers, and I will see you guys next time.